In a remote part of Haiti, a child is standing in a filthy puddle. This same water is used for washing clothes, cleaning dishes, and for drinking. It's no wonder then why so many of the villagers here are sick. Water is essential for life, but over one billion people have inadequate access to clean water, and dirty water is the number one killer of children in the developing world. But there is a solution. These Haitian villagers are excited because they are witnessing something truly amazing. This crystal clear water looked like this just seconds before. The Lifesaver jerry can has a remarkable built-in filter that can purify even the filthiest water. It's capable of turning brown, dirty water like this into safe, clean drinking water. Eric Lotz works for Operation Blessing International in Haiti. He is in the village of Balan, giving a demonstration of the jerry can. No. 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 The village has been chosen as the first location to receive the lifesaver jerry cans. The villagers of Balan were facing a serious problem. They have water in the village, but it's disgusting and dangerous. So the villagers had to walk two and a half miles to the source of the water. This is Ima Galette and her young son on their way to collect water. It's a long, hot walk and takes several hours. When they arrive at the spring, they fill their small, dirty containers. Meanwhile, women wash clothes, a horse takes a drink, and just in case you were thinking the water was clean, take a look at what's under the surface. They make this trip twice a week and need to ration the dirty water they collect. Other villagers who can't afford the time or energy to make the walk to the spring drink from the stream in the village, making it even more likely that they will get sick. So you can see why the villagers of Balan are so excited. The Lifesaver jerry can is the solution they have been waiting for. Now they can collect water from the stream in the village, filter it and drink clean water without the fear of sickness. The water in this Lifesaver can has just come out of this filthy stream behind me. But it's amazing, it's coming out really clear, crystal clear. And I'm going to trust it that uh, it's not going to kill me. I'm going to drink some of this stuff. Amazing. It tastes just like bottled water that you'd buy in the shop. But two minutes ago, it was there. Just upstream, there are cows going to the toilet, people washing their clothes, who knows what's in there, bacteria, nastiness, dead animals, you name it. And here I am drinking it, thanks to the technology in this Lifesaver bottle. It's unbelievable what this thing can do, and it's going to revolutionize how people are able to live in villages all over the world. Operation Blessing is working with families like Emas to carry out a detailed impact study on the effectiveness of the jerry cans, looking for improved health and eliminating that long walk to collect water. The jerry cans were an instant hit with the villagers, who were quickly training each other on how to use the filter and all sampling the filtered water in amazement. <laughs> From here, Lifesaver and Operation Blessing hope to deliver the jerry cans to families all over the world. For more information on how you can be a part of this amazing project, visit the website at operationblessing.org.